In all these years I've known him, I've never seen Mr. Conductor so exhausted. It's as if he loses more hope every day. And in all the years we've known him, we've never seen him in a jam he can't get out of. You should have more faith in him, Thomas. It's not that I don't have faith, Annie. This is different. We've never seen him in a gold dust crisis before. A time of crisis is exactly when he needs us most. A crisis? Oh! Uh, goodness gracious, we're late! But why is that signal still red? Uh, sorry for the bump. I uh, didn't mean to scare you. Helps in the intimidation, I guess. Oh, not you two. I don't have time for this. I have a train to pull. If I can just figure out what's going on with that signal... Oh, don't worry about that. Yeah, we told the signal when you were having problems with your motor. You said you might be delayed a little. <laughs> I'm a steam engine. I don't have a motor. Although I'm a bit concerned the signalman didn't come to that conclusion on his own. Alright, that's enough. Let's get down to business. Yeah, buffer business. Buffer business. Buffer business? Yeah, we know Mr. Constructor. Mr. Instructor. Mr. Conductor. Ah, who cares? He gets here in his magic, uh, railroad. And we want to take a ride on it. I thought we wanted to destroy it. But doesn't it just sound lovely? You gotta find it first. And you know where the buffers are, so... Yeah, so just, uh... Tell us. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, don't be like that. Yeah, give it a rest. You're hurting my brakes. Unhand me at once, you brute! Uh, sorry, Clanny. I mean, Annabelle, uh, Mrs. Gulch can't do that. The boss needs an answer. Oh, let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Is there a problem, Thomas? More an annoyance than anything, Henry. They won't let me go. Well, we, uh, will let you go. Just tell us where the magic buffers are. The boss wants them broken. Served on a hot flat. Smashed a smithereen. Magic buffers? You're holding up a train over some silly make-believe? I don't play dumb, Big Green. Big Green Lima Bean? Where have you ever seen a Lima Bean? Well, I see them all the time. Good source of copper, you know he loves that. That's enough! <laughs> I'm not going to say this twice. Don't interrupt our work again, or I'll give you some broken buffers to take back to your boss. You'll be sorry. Yeah, the, the boss will make you wish you just told us about the buffers. Yeah, and... Go blow up some steam while you're in. <laughs> Isn't that all they do? Figure a speech, Nimrod. Oh. Thank you, Henry. Those two are... A real bother, I know. I'd like to know who convinced Sir Topham Hatt to bring those diesels here, especially while he's on holiday. And with Mr. Conductor the way he is, I'm worried what we'll do next. Mr. Conductor will be fine, Thomas. If anyone can get themselves out of a jam, it's him. We need to focus on our work. It's what Mr. Conductor and Sir Topham Hatt would want from us. I wouldn't worry about those diesels. A giant claw doesn't scare me. And it shouldn't scare you, Thomas. Uh, no. No, certainly not. We'll stick together, like we always have. They don't stand a chance, then. One simple thing. You couldn't get the job done. We're, we're, we're sorry, boss. It was that uh, big green tin can. It was very big. And green. And persistent, there were no magic buffers. We know there are magic buffers. They were trying to fool you. You fools. Ah, you can't get that stuff these days. Nothing ah. ah. Calm down. Now, they know that we know about the magic buffers. They will be watching our every move, guarding every set of buffers we go near. We'll need to find another way to destroy them. Hey, 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 uh, hey, boss. In case you forgot... We, we need rails to get to the buffers. And it's like you said, they'll block us from every pair. I know what I said! We don't have to get to them by rail. 
if we can get to them by road. Yeah. Can I give us tires? <laughs> 